It's Saturday, July 15th, 2023. Time for another fireside chat with Dizzy and the little fuzzy puppy dog. And I don't know if we're going to be joined with any horses or not. They were both over here when I was trying to get the fire going. And this is the second week of me trying to burn that big stump. So, let's see, what do we want to talk about? Well, first off, chickens. I sold two roosters yesterday, which was very nice. I have three hens, pullets, whatever you want to call them, put to the side. They will be 18 weeks on Tuesday. I'll be putting an ad on Craigslist and getting rid of them. Um, of course, I have eggs in the incubator. I finally candled them. There were three that were definitely no good. I took them out. There's a few others that I wasn't too sure about. So they've been left in for now. They've got a little more than a week to go. And uh, see what we get out of them. Farm. Let's see. I mowed yesterday. And for the first time since April, May, something like that, I was actually mowing grass for pretty much the whole field. There are places where it's not overly tall to begin with. It doesn't grow that well. So in those areas, yeah, I wasn't really mowing anything. But other than that, I was mowing grass. And the field looks so much better. Uh, we're supposed to be getting rain tonight and tomorrow. They keep changing the forecast. In fact, it started to rain when I was out working in my yard today. And I checked the radar and it showed the farm was getting absolutely and positively pounded. So... I wore my short little boots because I didn't really feel like running around here with wet feet. Get out here and it's bone dry. So I don't know what the radar was showing. Um, yard. I got not a big area done per se, but what I got done was great. I uh, worked in my front yard mainly. One of my neighbors has their house for sale and... Uh, trying to make it so that my yard looks better so I don't potentially scare off somebody that might want to buy the house by looking at my house and thinking, oh, I don't want to live next to a, live near a junkyard. So I got more done out in the front. It looks the best that it has in a long time. I still have a bit more to do. Uh, I do need to get, get some dirt in there, which hopefully I'll have that done by the end of the month I will just be taking a bunch of well composted manure from the farm though I'm going to have to go down a little deep not don't want to get the dirt from right at the top because there's a lot of weeds growing on it and I don't really feel like messing with that gardens looking good um, I might have accidentally killed my watermelon and I don't know where I put my seeds so I might not get watermelon this year but if I don't it won't kill me Let's see. House. I got started working on the living room the other day. I would have had more of it done. And I got a call from the guy that was buying my roosters. He was supposed to be there at 6. He got there at 5. So I had to stop what I was doing and run out to the farm. So, but I did get some done. And it's looking better. Um... Bye. I might do some work tomorrow. I don't know. I try to relax on Sunday, but I just I need to get my living room cleaned again. Once I get that cleaned, I can really start concentrating on everything else. Oh, big news is I finally wrote the letter to the person that owns the land that I'm hoping to get in Kentucky. I sent it certified mail so that she has to sign for it and I figured it'd be less chance of her just trashing it without reading it if I sent it that way and she's supposed to get it on Monday so if you could all pray about that it would be greatly appreciated I'm really wanting to get to Kentucky uh, it's just been so hot here I checked the forecast in Kentucky and well, it was still hot. It wasn't anywhere near as bad here as here. Here, it was in the upper 90s. There, it was in the upper 80s. And there have been times when I felt like I was dying this week. 
So, Lord willing, I will be moving to Kentucky in the fall. I will keep you updated on that. And it looks like i got to keep an eye on this fire because it's not wanting to keep burning. i got a lot of wood that needs to be cut up to be burned. And, of course, I'm trying to burn the stump. It really didn't make any difference on it last week. But I'm going to sit back and relax and have a s'more or two and see if I get bothered by any horses. I know Misty likes graham crackers, don't know about licorice. I know Misty likes marshmallows and I'm assuming licorice would too. Uh, oh, I got both of them in the round pen this week. And if I was worried about licorice with the laminitis and limping, well... I just wanted her to stay at a walk. She decided that she had to go a lot faster than that because she did not want to listen to me. And she ran around no problem whatsoever. So, I've also taken the grazing muzzle off of her for now. I'm going to see how she does. Uh, it makes my life easier if she doesn't have it because I don't have to get out here as late as I do. I can come out, take care of the horses in the morning, since they don't get a whole lot of grain, I will be able to work them in the round pen while it's still cool out and hopefully before the bugs wake up. So, yeah, that should be it for me for this week. So I'll talk at you later.